Now to the latest on that ongoing apparent death investigation at a vacant South Wilkesbury home. Tonight, there are more questions than answers, and investigators still are not saying exactly why they've been searching that home all day. 2822 News reporter Gianna Golly live in South Wilkesbury tonight with more on that story. Gianna. Well, good evening, Nick. This house right here exactly behind me, police have been investigating for more than 24 hours now, and 2822 News has yet to hear from police on exactly what they're looking for. But earlier today, we saw police go in and out of the home, including forensics experts. A swarm of police activity at this home, 142 Carlisle Street in South Wooksbury, is leaving neighbors concerned. There's always something unusual at that house. It started with a large police presence early Tuesday afternoon and the forensics anthropology team from Mercyhurst University in Erie on scene. That team specializes in identifying remains and determining if they are either humans or animal. They were going in and out of the house, two doors from me. Uh, a couple hours after that, more cops came. They started going in and out with shovels and stuff like that in buckets. Neighbors said the home has been vacant for several months, but when it was occupied, they say police were there on more than a few occasions. They were always fighting and screaming. The cops were down just for noise. And then t towards the end, there's all kinds of different people living there. And more recently, neighbors say there was a lot of activity indicating people were moving out. About two weeks ago, people came with trailers, pulling everything out of the house. It was a mess. There was about 30 mattresses there. They had three dumpsters full of stuff. It was chaotic. Another nearby neighbor who wished to remain anonymous moved to the area from New York four years ago. She said the scene here Wednesday was unlike anything she's seen before. Nothing compared to like this, my friend. I lived in Brooklyn all my life. Flatbush, Brownsville, East New York, nothing like this. Nothing like this. Nick, several streets surrounding Carlisle blocked off until 7 p.m. tonight, but they are now reopened again. No word on that exact nature of the investigation. The Luzerne County District Attorney told 2822 News that more information will be made public sometime tomorrow. Reporting live in Wilkesbury, I'm Gianna Gali. 2822 News, Nick, back to you. Maybe get some answers to those questions by Thursday. Thanks, Gianna.